Hi folks, my name is Sergey Lemberg. I am an attorney specializing in lemon law, and in particular in your case, lemon law in Georgia, where you live. So you bought a new car, and you, like many consumers, are out of luck because your car doesn't work, keeps breaking, you keep taking it to the dealership. The dealership says, you know what, we'll keep fixing it, and it still doesn't work. So you have a lemon law issue, you need help. Here's what you got to know. There are five things about Georgia lemon law that you got to know before taking the next step, before writing anybody letters, before suing anybody. Here's the information you need to know. First of all, Georgia lemon law covers only vehicles for personal use. That is, business vehicles are not covered, only personal vehicles are covered. The other thing is that Georgia lemon law covers cars for two years or 24,000 miles. That is, the lemon law coverage for your car starts the day you buy it and ends either when you drive it for 24,000 miles or when the two-year period from the purchase date expires. The third thing you need to know about Georgia lemon law is that your car, to qualify as a lemon, needs to be out of service for 30 days for all kinds of problems combined or it has to be repaired for the same problem three three times. So let me give you an example. The air conditioner doesn't work, the engine doesn't work, the transmission doesn't work, and the manufacturer repairs these things and they take more than 30 days to do it, bam, you have a lemon. Or they have to keep repairing the transmission. The transmission slips once, twice, three times. The third time, if the problem is there after that, you have a lemon. But here's the kicker. Here's the fourth thing you need to know. The fourth thing you need to know is that in Georgia, there's a requirement that you send a letter to the manufacturer telling them that you have a ripe lemon law claim and giving them a period of time of 30 days to cure the problem. That is, you have a lemon, an uncured lemon, and if you don't send the letter, the manufacturer never gets their opportunity to cure the problem. You never actually have a complete lemon law claim. So that means if your car is in the shop for three years and you never send a letter, you in Georgia most likely don't have a lemon law claim. Now, what can you get? You hire a lawyer, you do it yourself, what can you get for your lemon? Well, you can get repurchase of the car under the formula used in Georgia, or you can get replacement of the vehicle with a similar year make and model car. Now, finally, do you need a lawyer to do a lemon law case in Georgia? Suppose you're hesitant, suppose you have a problem. The answer is no. You don't need me. You don't need anybody to help represent you in a lemon law claim or in a lemon law arbitration. The problem is manufacturers have teams of lawyers representing them in court and in arbitration. And those lawyers do nothing but lemon law claims. So. The fact of the matter is, you probably should have somebody. The good news for you is that it costs you nothing. We charge the manufacturer who breaks the law for representing you because that's called fee shifting under the Lemon Law and what's called the Magnuson Moss Act. That's federal law. We can get paid for what we do without charging you. So you, in effect, can get a free lawyer to help you get rid of your lemon. Don't take it on the chin. Don't trust the dealer. If you need advice, you need help, give us a call today. Let's see if we can help you get rid of this car and get your money back.